Okay. I am going to continue. I don't know what LP I'll do after this one. I'm still thinking about that, by the way. I was thinking of saying that for this episode last. Yeah, there's no last ginger right there. Um, yeah, I'm still debating what LP I should do next. Because I don't want to do anything too, like, hard or out of my reach. Yet again, I don't want to do anything, like, too easy. I don't want to do something just, like, that, like, right away. Like, right after planning it and not getting the time to think it through. Like, for example, I just now planned Banto 2E. So I'm still debating the LP because uh, as fun as the game may be, it's actually a lot harder than this one. A lot harder. It's like ungodly hard. Wait a minute, what did I just say? There's the token in there. That's why you should go, always go through that door and never fly. Turn our camera around so you can see this. You, you really need to. Right. And there's another Jiggy. And we have one more to find, and I have no clue which one I'm looking for. If anyone wondered how I got Shark Food Island down there to stand up like that, or stand up, get out like that, uh, you gotta enter a code later to get a pink egg. You don't have to, but if you want to, you can. Um, the egg is for something called Stop and Swap, which is a removed feature, which I should probably talk about right now. It's a really good time to talk about it. And what it would do is you'd find these, like, six eggs and an ice key, and you could carry them over to the sequel by switching the cartridges while the game was still running. And it worked. It, they got it working. It's actually programmed to do it in this game. But unfortunately, uh... You can you can try it, but the system will actually like blow up if you try to do it because it can't handle having the cartridge change mid game. And it was recreated though on Xbox 360. Um, they actually explain what the original things were going to happen by putting the first two games on there for download and just using hard drive to switch games or save game or whatever because that way they can tell you played the game in the first place and it was really. Really nice. And you also, the stop and swap was upgraded even more because it had like a three way stop and swap. Because the newest one, the nuts and bolts, would also be affected by it by giving you like new car pieces and stuff. Also, for doing the two games, this is crap. And it was really nice. I actually did enjoy um, making progress in the game for actually doing something in my life. Um, I don't mean, that's stupid. Okay, what are we gonna do next? Uh, so much I can do right now. I can go grab that jiggy, or I can go up there and get those notes I missed. Which are about the same area, so I'm gonna go over there anyway. Didn't debate it when I get there. Uh, pretend I cut out right now by skipping to about the next 10 seconds ahead. No, wait, no, wait, wait, never mind, never mind. Just too late now. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, get over there. Yeah. Banjo, what the fudge, dude? Yeah, there's two in there. That's a really good deal out there. Buy one, get one free. Oh, get over there, Banjo. Um, I'm actually surprised this game was as popular as it was, because this game is actually one of those ones you'd think would have, like, no fans. Um, believe it or not, of course, um, NCS did an LP, I know Dark Might have Sith did an LP in this game, and then, I know Charlie Hanway referenced this game once, so it's, you know what it is at least. But yeah, I find it really funny how this game was actually popular. I mean, you just think it'd be one of those games no one would play. It only got popular around, like, Nuts and Wolves, to be honest. Yes, we have all the Jiggies here. We can move ahead. Yay! No one really cares. This is too. It's gonna be the last episode for now, so... There'll be more today. I mean, it's not like today's over. It's just... Um, I might divide it by sittings, like how, like, how often I play it. Because there are times I'll play, like, at, like, let's say, like, 8 in the morning. Like, just wake up and just start, like... 
I mean, everyone does this at least once in their life. They'll, like, wake up out of bed and then just, like, turn on the system, like, right at night and they wake up without even, like, getting breakfast or anything and they start playing. And then there are those times, like, after dinner, of course. And then there's just times, like, just in the middle of the day you start playing. And to be honest, I'll probably turn on it, like, if I'm really addicted, I'll turn on the same game about four or five times a day and play for a pretty long time. And, like, if I have time, like, I'm, like, kind of, like, not busy or anything, but you understand. If I can, I will. And then of course, there's times to turn it off, turn it back on because you have to go go somewhere or something. Like that happens to everyone. Common sense. And we arrive at our destination. Okay. You know what? Be a good LP you do after this, actually. Um. I don't want to do something easy like Mario Galaxy, that's a really easy game. I was thinking maybe I could do something like... Not sure. I might do an Assassin's Creed 2 LP if I find a time. Maybe Brotherhood is a lot easier. It's just that game is real time consuming, that's the real problem with the LP. Because you'll spend about 10 minutes of your time just running from one area to another. I mean, yeah, the fans like the commentary you put in, you can put in that, that long time there, you can put a lot of commentary in that, but still. But anyway, we got a new move. We need to move on to the next level. Um, yeah, we need this move. Move on, move on. And what the move is... Did I get the Jiggy here? Yes, I did. I used 10 Jiggies already. Wow. Dang, dude. This is going to be our next level. This is Clanker's Cavern. What it is, is a sewer. Yes, a sewer. We are going underground. No, I'm just kidding. We're going into this cavern thing. But anyway, um, what it is, is um, it's a sewer, pretty much, with this giant robotic whale. And it's really fun until you start drowning every 10 seconds, which happens to me every time I play this game. I'll drown, like, at least once in this level. Um... So what I do first is free clanker, which is most likely to make you drown. Just, just a quick overview for you, because I'm going to stop pretty soon. And that's what I did. That's all I'll do, and I'll just, like, stop. You know what? To be honest, I'm going to move on a little bit from Grunty's Lair. If I have three minutes, I can probably do it. And usually after I finish a level, I like to get as much as I can possibly get done in Grunty's Lair in, like, one video. And then, like, the next video, I don't even have to do anything because I moved ahead so much. Like, just from doing the first two levels, I can probably make it to, like, the fourth or the fifth level just by using my, like, like, the skill of being able to skip through stuff. Yeah, I'm so lazy. Okay, we're going to go up here and see how much this door requires us to have. It requires 260. We will open that next time. But the episode is not over yet! Um, what I feel like doing right now is going to the world after the next one and get a move real quick, which is really easy to get to. But then again, I find it kind of stupid to do because it just is. Because we're skipping ahead. So I'm not going to go in there yet. That'll spoil level 4 for you, so I'm not going to go in there. Um, you can go in there if you want to, get an idea of what level 4 is you like. And if you've been following this LP, you can actually go into level 4 right now. I can, and I'm pretty sure you should be able to. But in the next episode, we will go in here and see what is hiding from us. Um, I got a minute. Let's see if I can get done. Not actually, you know what? Time's up. We'll pretend that 90 minutes is the limit. Because I don't like going past 10 minutes, because just I never have, never will. But until next episode, you can all just kiss my ass. Thank you for watching.